Module 6. Introduction to Directional Drilling Welcome to our online course on directional drilling. By the end of this module you will be able to define directional drilling, recall the historical development of directional drilling, recognize the reasons for drilling the following types of wells, exploration, appraisal, development, and production. Identify descriptions and pictures of directional drilling applications, identify several features of a directional well profile, identify the general types of directional well profiles, recall an explanation of a well plan, and identify the basic components of a well plan. Directional drilling has become a very important tool in the development of oil and gas deposits. Current expenditures for hydrocarbon production have dictated the necessity of controlled directional drilling to a much larger extent than previously. Probably the most important aspect of controlled directional drilling is that it enables producers all over the world to develop subsurface deposits that could never be reached economically in any other manner. In this module, a number of topics will be covered that must be understood by the directional driller. The various types of wells and applications of directional wells will be touched upon along with well profiles and well planning. Definition of Directional Drilling Controlled directional drilling is the science and art of deviating a well bore along a planned course from a starting location to a target location, both defined with a given coordinate system. Description of directional drilling. Drilling a directional well basically involves drilling a hole from one point in space, the surface location, to another point in space, the target, in such a way that the hole can then be used for its intended purpose. A typical directional well starts off with a vertical hole, then kicks off so that the bottom hole location may end up hundreds or thousands of feet or meters away from its starting point. With the use of directional drilling, several wells can be drilled into a reservoir from a single platform. Historical Development of Directional Drilling Directional drilling was initially used as a remedial operation, either to sidetrack around stuck tools, bring the well bore back to vertical, or in drilling relief wells to kill blowouts. Interest in controlled directional drilling began about 1929 after new and rather accurate means of measuring the whole angle were introduced during the development of the Seminole Field, Oklahoma, USA. In 1930, the first controlled directional well was drilled in Huntington Beach, California, USA. The well was drilled from an onshore location into offshore oil sands. Controlled directional drilling had received rather unfavorable publicity until it was used in 1934 to kill a wild well near Conroe, Texas, USA. As a result, directional drilling became established as one way to overcome wild wells, and it subsequently gained favorable recognition from both companies and contractors. Types of Wells There are three general types of wells. Wells are generally classified as exploration wells, appraisal wells, and development or production wells. Exploration wells, sometimes called wildcat wells, probe the earth where no known hydrocarbons exist to determine whether oil or gas are present in a subsurface rock formation. Appraisal wells are drilled to determine the extent of a field or the amount of area it covers. Development or production wells are drilled in an existing field to remove the obtainable hydrocarbons. Directional well applications. Side tracking. Side tracking was the original directional drilling technique used to get past fish obstructions. Oriented side tracks, the most common type of side tracking, are performed when there are unexpected changes in geology and obstructions in the path of the well bore. Inaccessible locations. Inaccessible locations such as targets located beneath cities, rivers, or environmentally sensitive areas make it necessary to locate the drilling rig some distance away from the target. Salt Dome Drilling Salt domes have been found to be natural traps of hydrocarbons accumulating beneath the overhanging hard cap. A directional well is used to reach the trapped reservoir to prevent the problems associated with drilling a well through the salt formation. Fault Controlling Fault controlling is an application used to drill a directional well into faulted subsurface formations without crossing the fault line. Multiple exploration wells from a single well bore. Multiple exploration wells from a single well bore use a single hole to drill multiple new wells by deviating away from the original well at a certain depth. It allows the exploration of structural locations without drilling another complete well. 
Onshore drilling to offshore locations. Onshore drilling takes place when a reservoir is located below large bodies of water that are within drilling reach of land. The wellheads are located on land, and the borehole is drilled directionally underneath the water to reach the reservoir. This technique saves money because land rigs are much cheaper than offshore rigs. Offshore multi-well drilling. Offshore multi-well drilling is the most economical way to develop offshore fields. Several directional wells are drilled in clusters on a multi-well offshore platform. Relief wells. Relief wells are used to kill wells that are blowing by intercepting the borehole. A carefully planned directional well must be drilled with great precision to locate and intercept the blowing well's borehole. Horizontal wells. Horizontal wells are used to intersect a producing formation horizontally to better produce the reservoir. Horizontal drilling increases the surface area of a producing formation. For example, a vertical well may give exposure to a reserve with a depth of 20 to 30 feet, 6 to 10 meters, while a horizontal well drilled into the same reservoir may give exposure to 2,000 to 3,000 feet, 600 to 1,000 meters. Horizontal wells can make a platform profitable where it was not previously. Extended reach wells. Extended reach wells are drilled to reach reservoirs that have a horizontal displacement in excess of 16,400 feet, greater than 5,000 meters, from the starting point. Multilateral wells. Multilateral wells have several well bores running laterally and originating from one original hole. Short, medium, and long radius wells. Short radius wells, typically re entries of old vertical wells, have curves with a 143 feet, 44 meters, radius, or smaller, that cannot be drilled with conventional motors. They are used to isolate higher or lower pressured production zones or water sands without setting and cementing a liner. This type of drilling is desirable when kicking off below a problem formation. Medium radius wells have curves with a 200 to 500 feet, 61 to 152 meters, radius that can be drilled with conventional motors. Long radius wells have curves with a 750 feet, 229 meters, radius or larger that can also be drilled with conventional motors. Directional well profiles. A directional well profile is the planned well trajectory from the surface to the final drilling depth by projecting the well bore onto two plotted planes. In order to determine the best geometric well profile from the surface to the bottom hole target, the following information must be known. The position of the surface location, the position of the target location, and the true vertical depth, TVD. Features of directional well profiles. Kickoff point, KOP. The kickoff point is the location at a given depth below the surface where the well bore is deviated in a given direction. Well inclination. The well inclination is the angle by which the well bore deviates from the vertical. End of buildup, EOB. The end of buildup is the location where the well bore has finished increasing. Hold angle. The hold angle occurs where the inclination of the borehole is held constant. Tangent section. The tangent section, hold section, occurs after a buildup where the inclination of the borehole is held constant for a certain distance. There could be an additional build or drop before reaching the target. Start of drop. The start of drop is the location where the well bore starts dropping inclination. End of drop. The end of drop is the location where the well bore finishes dropping inclination. Target displacement. The target displacement is the lateral distance from the surface location to the target. Target location. The target location is a point defined in space by geographical coordinates at a given true vertical depth. A well profile could have multiple targets. Drop-off rate, DOR. The drop-off rate is the rate at which the inclination decreases. The rate is usually expressed in degrees per 100 feet or degrees per 30 meters of the course length. Buildup rate, BUR. The buildup rate is the change of inclination of a wellbore where the angle is increased. 
The rate is usually expressed in degrees per 100 feet or angular increase per 30 meters of the measured depth. Turn rate. The turn rate determines the rate a well profile turns in azimuth direction, usually expressed in degrees per 100 feet or degrees per 30 meters. True vertical depth, TVD. The true vertical depth of any point or station along a wellbore is the vertical distance from the well surface reference point to the station of interest. Measured depth, MD. The measured depth of any point or station along a wellbore is the distance from the well surface reference point to the station of interest along the actual well path. Horizontal displacement, HD. The horizontal displacement is the distance between any two points along a wellbore projected onto a horizontal plane or plan view. Vertical section, VS. The vertical section is the distance between any two points along a wellbore projection onto a vertical section plane. Azimuth. The azimuth is the angle in the horizontal plane measured from a fixed reference direction, such as true north, usually measured clockwise. Quadrant. The quadrant bearing of a well is the angle in the horizontal plane measured from either a north or south reference direction towards the east or west, defining the direction of the wellbore. Polar coordinate. The polar coordinate of a point is the distance projected in a horizontal plane from a fixed reference point and the angle of this line from a reference direction, usually true north. Rectangular coordinate. The rectangular coordinates of a point are defined as the projected distance along two reference axes which are at right angles, the distance being measured from the intersection of the axes along the axes. These axes reside in the horizontal plane and typically are north-slash-south and east-slash-west directions. Well planning. Well planning is an organized process used to put together data that will be used to design a successful well. A well plan is a very important stage prior to the commencement of the drilling operation to ensure that all aspects are tailored to meet the specific objectives of that well. Directional well plans are often developed in a drilling engineering center, DEC, by a well planner. Understanding how to design a well plan, proposal, is one of the most important duties of the directional driller. He must be able to understand the plan and make any required changes. The data provided by the client is used by the well planner to develop a geometric profile for the safest and easiest path from the surface location to the target. The planner has access to a computer program to help develop the best possible profile. The needed data is put into the program so that a well profile can be printed, plotted and used for the drilling project. Components of a well plan. There are many components to take into consideration when designing a successful well plan. The well planning components listed here are the same as the features of a well profile found in previous section. If you do not recall these terms, please refer back to previous section. The well plan components are surface location, target location, kickoff point, build up rate, turn rate, hold angle, start of drop, true vertical depth, target displacement, azimuth, Vertical section, quadrant, polar coordinate, rectangular coordinate, end of drop, tangent section, measured depth, well inclination, end of buildup, horizontal displacement, drop off rate. Summary Directional drilling has become a very important drilling process. It has enabled producers all over the world to develop subsurface deposits that could never have been reached economically in any other manner. In this module, directional drilling was defined along with its historical development. The applications of a directional well as well as the features of a well profile were also covered. The module also included information on the types of well profiles and the components of a well plan. Thank you for your attention. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one. See you in the next video presentation.